Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Sony just sent over a new home theater system. I'm excited to check it out. Their TV and sound department are starting to work closer and closer together, hence why they not only sent over their X93L Bravia XR mini LED TV, but also this sound system with the RS5 speakers, the SW5 sub, and then our a5000 soundbar. All of these speakers will work together wirelessly, including the TV as the center channel speaker in conjunction with the sound bar. So excited to get everything set up. I'll quickly show you what comes in the box of these. We'll start with setting up the TV and then set up the sound system. Anyways, let's get started. Inside the TV box, you've got your setup guide, some back panels to cover wiring. You have your legs with grips down at the bottom. You can wall mount this TV if you'd like. You have some more booklets. You get your screws to attach the legs to the TV, plus the remote with batteries included. Here's just a quick close look at the shortcuts and the buttons on that smaller Sony remote or back panels. And when installing the legs, you get two options. You can have the TV sit a little bit lower or you can have it raised a bit, which is beneficial for us to put a sound bar underneath. Connecting some of the back panels just to cover up some of the cables, including that middle power cable. In terms of connections on the back of the TV, you've got your cable antenna, ethernet port, optical, a remote, and there are three HDMI ports here, and you'll notice two of them are 4K 120 hertz, also eARC support. You also have a USB port. Also a built-in mic switch, another HDMI slot, USB port, video speaker in, and an IR in remote. Connecting the rest of the panels, a look at the back, it looks really nice. This is all recycled plastic on the back of the X93L. Some features on the front, Bravia Core, variable refresh rate, Dolby Vision, Atmos. The setup process is very simple. Google TV is built in, great to have, easy to set up. You do have an option to turn on power saving if you'd like to. And right away, I did plug in our sound bar. I'll touch more on the audio in just a second, but it recognized it right away to set the TV up as the center speaker. This does have Chromecast and also Apple AirPlay and HomeKit built in. Our Sony Bravia XR X93L mini LED TV is all set up ready to go. One thing I love that Google TV has is an ambient mode showing different backdrops. It's perfect to have on while I'm doing some reading. The Google TV interface on the X93L isn't terrible by any means. You get all of the apps that you want. It offers suggestions, pretty easy to change inputs overall. It's, it's one of the better ones. Let's dive right into it. You have Sony's Cognitive Processor XR with 13% more local dimming zones to decrease the blooming, have better backlight control, uh, and controlling the blooming, it, it, they, Sony recognizes you're going to get blooming out of this mini LED TV, but the key is to control it and not crush the brightness. I can notice it happening when there's something really bright and really dark. There still is some blooming there. It's not terrible, it's definitely improved. And Sony has really tried to get the contrast and color down with their mini LED, and they've done a really good job. The colors are extremely accurate and very vivid. Even in a well-lit room, the colors really pop. It's, it's very enjoyable to watch when there's a lot of colors on the screen. They have auto HDR tone mapping, and HDR content has looked really nice, and I'm pretty impressed with the black levels that they have on this TV. When it comes to gaming, you get two HDMI 2.1 ports and variable refresh rate, which is great to have, and a new game menu, which automatically turns on when you are in a game. This allows you to control variable refresh rate, motion blur, it has a black equalizer. You can add crosshairs to the screen. They also have some extra features if you have a Sony PlayStation 5 to plug into it. Unfortunately, I'm using my Xbox. But with all that being said, plugged into the HDMI 2.1 port, everything was very snappy. Game mode turned on, so there was pretty much no input lag. You also have Sony's Bravia Core, which has hundreds of the latest releases, classic movies, and if you do decide to get this TV, you get five credits towards some new stuff. Moving on to our sound setup, this is the Sony A5000 soundbar that works in conjunction with our TV. And check out all of the crazy features, Dolby Atmos, DTSX. You can even cast directly to it or use AirPlay. You can use your TV's remote to control it, but if you'd like to control it separately, it has a remote with batteries included. Also a couple mounting plate options. It comes with an HDMI cable and a cable to connect to your TV. 
Just a quick look at this sound bar. It's actually pretty large. It has some touch controls up towards the top. Also weighs a decent amount. I'm expecting some heavy sound coming out of these speakers. In terms of ports, you have your S-Center out TV in optically, a USB port and two HDMI ports, one for HDMI in and your eARC for HDMI out. We have the Sony RS5 wireless rear speakers to work in conjunction. Just a quick look at them. They are fairly heavy duty. We're gonna put these on a stand, but it does have grips at the bottom so it won't slide around. You also have a couple different mounting options with these speakers and they have batteries inside. They can work up to 10 hours of battery life. And of course, you have to add a wireless subwoofer. This is the SW5. Very heavy duty. It's a very premium looking sub. I love the side texture, almost like a leather-like texture that they have with their logo. On the back is where you can plug it in and just a power button and link button. And after setting up the rear speakers, the sound bar, the sub, they all connected instantly. I didn't have to really do anything. They found each other and connected. Changing to the input will allow you to set up the speakers for their 360 audio. The 360 spatial sound mapping uses the rear speakers. It will do a sound field optimization, calibrating the system based on distance between the ceiling, walls, speakers. This is all automatic. And these speakers sound great. I've been listening to a ton of music on them. It gets really loud. Also, when it comes to watching various movies, especially those action movies where you got helicopter noises, a bunch of different stuff, it's been a joy. And sports. You know, you got the fan noise in the background. It, it is very immersive. I love the 360 optimization. So anyways, that's everything I want to talk about for now with Sony's Bravia X93L Mini LED TV. Overall, really impressed. Again, there are some downsides to this TV in comparison to maybe a really high-end Mini LED or OLED TV, but with the brighter display, it sort of makes up for it if you are in a lighter, a brighter lit room. Also, with that being said, the price reflects some of the sacrifices, but overall, again, color reproduction is excellent. Everything really pops. Still impressed with the black levels on this TV. And yes, the integration that it has with their sound system is incredible. If you're looking to get a sound system and a TV, it's so easy to set up. I love how the TV works in conjunction with that front sound bar. And having to just plug in the speakers made it so easy to set up and it automatically set up the 360 sound. A really seamless experience from Sony with their audio and TV department. Anyways, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. More videos to come soon, so be sure to click that subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching.